This assignment, we're going to make a Pac-Man face. I started with the advanced selection file, and what I did is I deleted a bunch of vertices to make this look like a Pac-Man face. And one of the problems is, up is the uh, z-axis, and so if you notice, you can't, this Pac-Man is kind of laying on its side, and so what I need to do first and I deleted vertices is how I created the uh, this look right here. So you can just select vertices and delete them. When you hit delete key, you want to go to vertices. Um, now those aren't the ones I want to delete, so I need to undo. And that's control Z is undo. I need to take this and rotate it. So you should already be clicked on the sphere. And you're right here to object properties. Um, don't change the location. We are going to change the rotation, however, and you can, there's a few ways to do this. Um, one of the ways to modify these values, you see how the mouse turns into this double left right arrow. If I drag, it lets you rotate like this by moving the mouse. And if you notice, 90 degrees is actually what I want. So I'm just going to type in 90, enter. And now I can look, we're actually getting pretty close here. I want to now rotate it sort of up to the left, or in this view it would be counterclockwise. And it looks like the, the Y axis is the green. It looks like I wanna change the Y rotation a little bit. And that was the correct one, so it's even. Now as to the exact number, I mean, if you want to be super precise, I think 30 is the exact for the amount I have the mouth open is what I want. Uh, you can make the mouth open a little bit less wide or more wide. It's up to you. But now I have the what's left of the sphere right here. And the only thing I need to do is uh, cut the eyes out. And how I did that vertice selection, I'm not going to show you because uh, that was in the, covered in the videos already. Uh, one way to do the eyes, uh, you can click on any vertice you want to delete, hit the delete key. Um, if you just hit enter or click, the first choice is vertices. So now if you delete a vertice, what happens is it deletes uh, everything touching that vertex. And technically, if you look closely, everything touching a vertex, there's actually four faces that use this vertex. So if you don't want to remove four faces and you just want to remove one face at a time, you're going to have to go over to face select. Now when you're on face select, now you can just do one uh, and make sure you do go to uh, faces. Uh, now it's just going to delete the one face and to make this symmetric, I'm going to select that face, uh, delete. And if you notice there's an underlined letter, the F key will do uh, the faces choice, E for edges, V for vertices. So I'm gonna hit F and there we go. So I got the two eyes and the mouth. This isn't the best Pac-Man face. Uh, you can spend a little more time. I think I wanna get these. Oh, Let's see, shift, select, there we go. Faces, all right, I feel much better with that. Okay, so there's my Pac-Man right there. Do make sure you hit file, save. Wherever this Blender file is, so mine's Advanced Selection, uh, you do need to make sure uh, that you submit this file, so pay attention where it is. Hopefully, it's in uh, your Documents folder or somewhere that you know how to access, and then I will be grading this file that you turn in. So I'm looking for two eyes and a mouth, and it also needs to be rotated so Pac-Man is traveling horizontally, not uh, vertically up or down. So you will need to, again, click on, make sure your sphere is selected. Right here is the object properties, and then there's the rotation that I set. You may need to rotate a little bit differently. Uh, the Z rotation will determine which direction Pac-Man is gonna be moving. Um, I don't really, it doesn't matter to me what Z rotation you have, but you do. it does need to be moving horizontally, which means the Z axis is up.